Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to start off with our seventh weekly video regarding individuals and societies. As we're going to start off with our summative project and summative criteria, the SSP criteria. And lastly, we're going to move on to basically some challenging questions that we have to take into consideration while dealing with the summative assessment and study guide at the same time. Then we're going to start off with the very first part that we have in our week, which is infographs and statistics. They're tools to convey information, data, and complex concepts in a visually appealing and easily digestible format. So they're very important when it comes to uh, using charts, basically images, graphs to convey information. Visual elements are often even more engaging and easier to understand than raw data and lengthy text, making it very simple to people to grasp complex ideas, very important for data comprehension, for clarity and simplicity, and at the same time for time efficiency, if it was like a very huge material. So you get to divide it and provide a, a basically a snapshot of information that can under, be understood at a glance for uh, accessibility, for memory retention at the same time, and for decision support. Because statistics, when presented effectively, it provides valuable insights that can inform decision making in various fields, including businesses, healthcare, and even public policy. And the last important part that we have when it comes to infographics is that they can tell you stories, they can perform. Um, you know, these statistics can tell a story with data helping to connect with an audience uh, on an even emotional level and engage them in any kind of narrative. We're going to highlight actually the effect of globalization on the gaming industry itself. And again, whenever we think about globalization and its significant effects on the gaming industry, we think about transforming uh, basically it into a truly global and interconnected sector. And there are a lot of examples and effects for globalization on the gaming industry. So it can actually affect the market expansion. So it expands the market for video games beyond national, even borders. You have cultural diversity. So they reach global audience. They inter, inter uh, basically connect and incorporate diverse cultures languages and even themes you have cross borders collaboration is actually game development often involves international collaborations from different even countries uh, they work together to create games leading to a blending of talent skills ideas from basically around the world localization so they cater some basically global audience or gamers um, you know, meaning that they adapt actually to different languages and cultural preferences, and it enhances eventually the player engagement. You have basically distribution and sales. So again, digital distribution platforms uh, like PlayStation or other, any other parts basically have made it easier for games to access and uh, be purchased through games, global games generally. We have cultural exchange, we have global trends at the same time, and uh, eventually we're talking about the global marketing itself and competition. So the global nature of the industry has intensified competition at the end. Game companies must compete with basically international rivals for market uh, basically to share uh, and basically show talent at the same time. Now let's talk about the SWOT analysis that is actually a strategy of planning by a lot of businesses and organizations to evaluate their own internal strengths and weaknesses as well as external opportunities and threats. So whenever we talk about strengths, we talk about um, resources, capabilities, um, you know, that gives the uh, organization a competitive advantage. Uh, whenever we talk about weaknesses, we talk about um, uh, you know, factors that actually hindered the organization's own performance. Whenever we think about opportunities, we look at external factors or situations that can uh, capitalize on the achievement of its own objectives. Whenever we talk about threats, lastly, we think about external factors and uh, challenges that may negatively impact it on the organization's performance and even success. So we're going to be basically leading up a SWOT analysis to every basically case study in order for us to understand more the effect of globalization on uh, sports and on, um, you know, a lot of concepts in life. And now we're going to end up with a lot of challenging questions. So first of all, we're going to uh, answer the question of how can the students actually examine the multifaceted impact of globalization on sports 
through a SWOT analysis, if our research paper or research question is relevant and meaningful, and how does the globalization of gaming industry affect the representation of different cultures in video games, and what role does it culture does cultural basically sensitivity play in this context? How can we evaluate our collective responsibility as a group in a task? And we have to mention basically a lot of ways at the end. So we're going to bra brainstorm several questions. Before we start off with the summative, we're going to specify one more time the assessment criteria. So we're going to focus on uh, criteria B and C that are basically investigation and communication. We're going to analyze and reflect on essential speaking and presentational skills as um, we're going to answer different questions and we're going to brainstorm several questions at the same time. So, for example, what techniques do you employ to maintain good eye contact and body language during a presentation? And how do you really... Um, you know, what are the key concepts or the key steps of, um, you know, being involved in the research process from formulating the hypothesis to drawing basically conclusions.